Yo, what's up, guys? We have this. It's a digital otoscope of a possibly generic brand on Amazon. Uh, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna... It's the thing that doctor would use to look inside your ear, your nose. Uh, like, yeah, one of those. To see, well, what's in there. Today, I got this on Amazon. Don't know why. Because, you know, why not? Here it is. It has a screen. It has a camera. That is cool. So, oh, wow. Looks pretty good. It's looking good already. Uh, oh, yeah, obviously. All right. Is it touch screen? I don't think so. Oh, it turns on. Oh, yeah, it's made by any kit. Um, unfortunately, it's not touch screen, so it kind of, kind of sucks. Hang on. There's a little flap here on the bottom. Oh, wow, it's got USB-C on it. It's all right. It has what looks to be USB Type-C. So, yeah. That is something welcome to see. No pun intended. Manual, okay. And here we have some accessories. I do like how they packaged it. It looks really nice. Okay, so I guess here are some tips for the autoscope camera. USB-A to USB-C for the charging, some alcohol prep pads, and whatever this is. I'll have to read the manual. Oh wait, you didn't even see that. Uh, hang on, we'll go over that again. You have this with 32 gigs of memory. Let me hit that reset button and see what happens. Oh wait, no that can't be for hitting the reset button, right? Hang on, let me just unbox this real quick. So it's a USB Type-C camera. Oh, hang on. wonder if it'll work with my iPad I'm using to film, so I can show you some footage it picks up. It's USB Type-C, I don't see why not. No pun intended, again. All right, let's see what we get. Camera, obviously, some, what else in here? A screw. Oh, I know what this is now. Okay. That goes here and is what looks to be a stand. So let's install that. Hang on. Let me do that off camera. All right, now that we have the stand installed, we can prop it right here. That looks nice. Uh, so inside the box, like I say, I'm going to repeat this one more time. You get the... The screen and the computers of it. You get the camera, obviously. You get a USB-A to USB-C charger. Some alcohol prep pads. Uh, what looks to be some attachments for the camera thing. Some tips. Guess it's for the ear, then. And that's, that's pretty much it. So that's USB Type C it uses. All right, let's hook up the camera. And see how it goes. There's no camera. Well, that's gonna be fixed very soon. There we go. Hang on. What's the right way up? What's which way's the right way up? That's upside down. That is the right way up. So the orientation of the camera is kinda weird. I can't really tell what's the right side up. Uh, let's look at this screwdriver. You can see Cobalt, the brand, not the element, the right way up.
Okay, so you see that it's right side up. I will have to make a little mark on this thing to determine what is actually right side up. And that mark has to be facing upwards at all times when being used. So it's the camera, okay? There, there's my iPad. Look at the camera, let's look at the camera. <laughs> all right, you see that. Let's look at itself. Uh, yeah, that's that weird effect cameras have. All right, enough of that. Let's see the features this has. Resolution, let's see what it had. 1920 by 1080, cool. Date stamp, on, okay. Shutter sound, on, okay. Auto power off language, date time format. Oh, default settings, okay. Version. Any kit, model MS450. Oh, God, you can't even see that. Any kit, model any MS450 from reversion 3.9 support anykit.com. I guess that's their support email. Next, go back. That's to take a picture. Oh, that's to change the brightness of the lamp. So right now, the... Um, right now, that's off. Now I'm gonna turn. So that's the brightest, right after it's off. Let's see if it's high resolution enough to see my fingerprint. Mm. Turn off the light, actually. So three levels of brightness. Oh yeah, more than enough. So yeah, it's a pretty good looking one. Uh, actually, I'm gonna check something. All right, so I just looked at my own ear. It's not the cleanest, but can't. I don't want. I don't really want to show that here. Uh, some might not want to see it. I was advised by others to not do that. I wanted to, obviously, but eh. yeah. But anyway, it's quite high resolution, and when you're looking at very small things and not an entire landscape, like like what you're seeing right now, that's my editing setup right there. Yeah, it's better, the camera is better tuned to look at, you know, very close up things such as its own power button. Look at that. Its own set of buttons, its own USB-C, how the brushed aluminum looks. Or was it, no, not brushed aluminum, anodized aluminum. Yeah, there's a silver button on the back. You press. should come right out and there it goes. I'm gonna do a bit of testing off camera and I'll give, I'll end this video in just a sec. Hang on, it might end right now, who knows. <laughs> All right guys, uh, I discovered something about this. It's basically a USB-C connector in here. So I got my Apple USB-C to regular USB and connected my webcam to it. And what you're seeing is live feed from this particular webcam. There's, there's my toolbox that I use to build stuff, take stuff apart. It actually looks pretty good on the screen. So I'm gonna actually take a picture. Oh, yeah. Um, yep, you can take pictures with this thing. <laughs> and hang on. I'm gonna get a or something out of this. I can tape <coughs> this onto here. I'm not gonna, I know. I can use this as a camera. <laughs> I mean, it's basically a USB port that hooks up to a camera. See, it says no camera. You can connect anything with USB-C. That includes its original camera, which is this thing. Which actually looks lower resolution than 
my webcam, which is which I consider very low resolution. So anyway, that's kind of it. Sorry if it's not that descriptive. Can't really show much with this. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh yeah, uh, before you end, before you leave, oh yeah, there's 15, 16 seconds left anyway. But anyway, this camera, the USB-C thing, can actually be connected to a computer and viewed with the camera app. So hook this up to your Windows laptop or desktop that has a USB-C port or get an adapter that converts USB-A to USB-C port. There's adapters out there. And you can actually view it on your computer. You can view what this sees on your computer. So yeah, uh, that's it.